Hi guys, welcome to Nifty Inc. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different that honestly I'd never tried before, but ended up being really fun. After scrolling through social media, probably a little bit more than I should have, I realized that there is one thing that is on everyone's mind. It's the first week of September, and whether you love it or hate it, it's pumpkin spice season. Yay! Today we're drawing and painting with our favorite caffeinated beverage, coffee! Mmm. Cinnamon glory. You know, they say that there's not even pumpkin in here. Okay, so let's dive right in. I have never painted with coffee before I did this little painting, and so I don't really know the hard and fast rules of painting coffee, if that is even a thing. But I figured it would be just like watercolor, really, and its consistency and how you need to layer it, so that's how I approach this. So I sketched out this little cat, and then I got to mixing up my coffee. So when I mixed up my coffee, I decided to use instant for two reasons. The first is that you can really control how dark and thick you want the mixture to be, and the second is I didn't want to use my fancy drinking coffee that is from Brazil, from my in-laws. So I decided to go with instant because it's a little bit cheaper, and if I mess up, I could just start over pretty easily without brewing a new cup. I used um, two different solutions. So the first one is kind of a lighter wash that I use first, and the second is more of a darker color of coffee for maybe doing the outlines and details. And the way I made the, the lighter one is I did three parts water to one part coffee. So one tablespoon of coffee, three tablespoons of water. And then for the darker one, I did one part to one part. So one tablespoon coffee, one tablespoon water. And I really liked these two mixtures. They, they complemented each other well. So when I um, mixed this up, one, it made my studio smell really amazing, <laughs> and two, is I didn't really know what color to expect. I was thinking that the coffee would kind of look like a dirtier, duller kind of dishwasher brown, and I was really surprised when I put it on the paper. It is a really pretty caramel color. Like, it was really pretty, like I thought it was going to be ugly and I was going to have to work with kind of some duller browns, but it really was a rich color and I really enjoyed that. Um, I like how caramely it looks. It, it looks the way I imagine a coffee smell would look like, you know, just like really rich in your nose and so I really like that. I worked in layers, so I put down um, a lighter kind of wash over everything that I wanted to be brown and then I worked in, I let it dry and then I worked in layers for the darker parts and um, similar to how you would use watercolors. So the darker parts layering over dry. Um, and it's a little bit different from watercolor. Um, you can't really see it on video, but in person it does, it almost has um, a tacky kind of texture um, when it's dry. And I think that's just because um, you know, watercolor is just pigment, whereas coffee has other things in it. Um, uh, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of like almost shiny in the very darkest areas, and that's really pretty. Um, and then I used a brown fine liner to go over the outside just to make it a little bit more defined. And then I also used, um, a white gel pen at the very end to give a little bit of highlights in the areas of the coffee painting that I wanted to be a little bit more uh, of a highlight or a pop. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I really encourage you to try some of your own coffee paintings. Um, for me, this was really fun. I'm actually not a coffee drinker, so I had a lot of fun using coffee to make art, which is definitely my thing. So, you know, happy fall, you guys. Enjoy a pumpkin spice latte and do some paintings. I'd love to see them.
It's like falling leaves in my mouth. Yeah, leaves. <laughs>